Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to trade through the Advanced Trader, otherwise known as the Dome or the Depth of Market on many other platforms on the Firetip trading platform. So if you aren't already familiar, you can open up your Advanced Trader or your Dome through the Advanced Trader button here at the top of your toolbar. You can also do so through the trading matrix. Just highlight the contract you want to open and click on the advanced trader button. Now this will open up a dome. If you don't already have one by default, it will be placed right here where I am currently hovering over. So let's actually increase this size just so we can see it a bit easier. Now, as you can see, there are several buttons by default turned on that we can place trades through essentially. Now on the bottom left, we do have our two buy buttons. These are for a market order or a bid order. On the bottom right, we have our two sell buttons. We have the sell market button and the sell ask button. And in between these two columns is our quantity. So if you need to trade multiple lots at a time, feel free to either click the arrow buttons up or down to adjust or manually type in your order quantity there. Now heading back up to the top, we do have several other buttons that can be utilized. We do have the place order button, which actually opens up an order entry window other than placing it directly through the dome. I believe if you click on the specific price level you would like to place a dome for, directly on your dome it will open up that order entry window at the specified price so if i do click right here at 28 25 even as you can see based off where i'm highlighting it does have that entry window there so just to go over these buttons real quick again we do have that order entry window so instead of clicking on that particular price you can just click on place order and then manually adjust it as you needed we do have go flat or reverse. So if you do have positions already in the market and you need to get out or reverse your position, you can use the go flat or reverse buttons to do so. And then we finally, we have cancel all, which again, will just cancel all orders in the market. Now, before I do continue, I would like to show you the two other buttons we have here at the top. We do have center prices. So if for whatever reason you do need to scroll way above or below the market, I would suggest deactivating auto center prices as this will after a second or two snap back to the market. So look, if you click on auto center prices and we wait, it should automatically always center the prices directly in the middle of your screen there. So that's a good feature to keep in mind. And finally, we do have our strategy strategy selector. This is for more advanced orders. Currently, there is not a strategy on. So if we click on select strategy here, we do have several different strategy types we can select or advanced orders. We do have trailing stops, order trigger OCOs, simple bracket orders, order trigger multiples, and we have our regular OCO orders. If you like, you can click all and then we can click all symbols as well. So if we do click add row now, this will allow us to specify the order types here. So let's get a bit organized. As you can see, we're currently working with the right window now, and this is where we'll select our strategy. So being that we did click all, it will show all the different order types available here. If you do select from that last window, a specific order type rather than show all, it will only give you that one option. So if we do put on an OCO, as you can see, there are quite a different few fields here in which we can customize. Down at the bottom is where we'll be selecting our symbol. We have our buy or sell sides. We can adjust our quantity, the specific order types that are attached with our OCO, the price it's set at, and then dur the duration. Now coming up to the top here, this is where we select the sides of our OCO. So we will have the account as it is associated with. Our order side, again, you have the buy, sell, your default, which is your buy, and then the opposite of whatever the second order is down here. So if you want, you can just do opposite for each 
if you'd like. Then again, down here, we do have our different configurations for the symbol. The default will be based off of the contract you've opened the OCO through. Again, same with your order default type. So you do have the different options here, but if you do decide to click through the dome rather than coming through here, it'll just automatically adjust that. If you need to, you can adjust as needed. Then we, again, we have our order duration. After you've selected all the appropriate settings for your first side of your OCO, you'll need to come down to the second and configure those as well. If you'd like, you can simply click on less and it will just organize this a bit more. If you do have the two different sides or multiple sides to your OCO, you can click on more if you need. Showing off the other order types here, they are pretty similar. As you can see, order triggers multiple. You do have the triggered order section as well. So you do have your stop after, and then you designate how it will stop after. You have your order summaries if they are triggered, and then you have your triggered order types there. Very similar to OCO, but again, you have that triggered section. Heading down more now, we have our bracket orders. They function as a typical bracket order might expect. You have your first order side, the quantity it's at, your symbol, your basic order type. Then you can set your price, the duration, and then you have how the brackets are handled. So you'll set up your ticks. As you can see, four ticks equals the one point. You can drop down to select from either tick size or your point size, or if you want to, you can simply highlight and manually type those in. That was for take profit side and it functions the same exact way for your stop loss. Then again, if you want to, you can set your defaults down here as you did before. So if you set a default layout, you can save your specific order type for that. Then whenever you select default in the settings above, whatever default you have down low will automatically be set to your default settings. Order triggers OCO, again, very similar to our first OCO section. Just keep in mind, again, you can set your defaults down below. You have your two different sides of your OCO order as well as your triggered order. Finally, we do have our trailing stops. So again, we can set up our first order here, up at the top, and then down below, we just set our trail amount, very simple. If you'd like, you can click the drop down menu. And as we saw on OCOs, they function very similar. You can set your ticks or you can set by points. Now, as I mentioned before, if you'd like, you can actually trade directly through the dome but you will need to activate one-click trading. One-click trading will essentially bypass the order confirmation window. For Trump, some traders, the order confirmation is needed, being that they do not want to make mistakes, but for those high-frequency traders, and those traders that need to place trades immediately in the split second they see a change in the market and they make their decision, they'll want to click and place that trade immediately. Now for those traders that do need instant trading, otherwise known as one click trading, you can activate this setting by heading up to the top left hand corner, clicking on general. And as you'll see, there is a couple different options here. Currently we have disable all click trading on. There is two other options, enable protected click trading and enable one click trading. I would suggest to enable one click trading Protected click trading is still helpful, but again, I believe it still will open up your order entry widget. So if we click OK or apply here, although I won't be able to actually place a trade because I do have insufficient funds on this account, being it is a demo, if you do just double click, as you will see here, it will automatically attempt to place an order for me. So that is something to keep in mind depending on which click, either right or left click, it will place your different order types. So if we come over, we can come to our ask side now, simply double click. And as you can see, it will attempt to place that order in there. So just something to keep in mind for those of you that do need instant trades, very good 
uh, feature that FireTip does implement. One last thing I actually didn't cover, as you will see there, if we left click on our bid or ask sides column, it will show volume in a circular dot there showing what is currently being traded in the market. You do have the little indicators of up or down trends in the market. Just another useful feature. Again, this is activated by clicking on the bid or ask column and it does show those small indicators representing the current market fluctuations based off of the size of the current market and the volume. That just about wraps it up for this video. If you did find it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for future fire tip content. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel, place, feel free to place them in the comments or head over to our community forum and post a question there. You can do so by going to community.optimistfutures.com. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.